These days, I only see one form of dual literacy research, and it has to be ingrained with activism and grassroots movements. And there are many places where grassroots can take place. Um, personally, I think that teacher education programs and our work with uh, pre-service and in-service teachers is a really good starting point. Literacy research, the way many of us um, talk about it, and go about it, it's about raising questions, and it's about questions about the world, and questions about what we can share and tell with languages. Um, I'm specifically interested in the idea of second languages as part of those stories. Uh, so activism and literacy research means inviting teachers to question and play with the curriculum, with textbooks, with materials, with new and revisited forms of texts. Um, it means creating a cultural research and writing so that we go beyond handouts and into producing um, their own learning communities with their students. If we want to develop solidarity and coalitions, we must think locally and globally. Locally, uh, we need to keep going to our neighborhoods, learn from them, see what people do with language and how that becomes a learning experience. Globally, um, we need to develop strong alliances with scholars and activists all around the world. The world needs to listen to the South and learn from the South. There is incredible scholarship, strong activism here that remains unheard. Whom are we listening to? Whose voices are we validating as scholarship and research? Where else should we go and listen? Um, if we want to turn scholarship into activism, those are questions we need to tackle. We need to engage with those scholars, we need to engage with those communities, uh, and should go there just to learn with them. A practice of love in literacy research begins with two words, respect and care. We must continue to develop networks of respect and appreciation for the work we're all doing around the world. We need to open new ways to share our work beyond the traditional outlets of publication. We need to embrace different accents, variants, and formal languages out there and value the efforts to create scholarship in all those languages. As per love, um, well, our literacy community, and I say this thanks to the incredible people I've known over the years, needs to be deeper and genuinely caring for each other, for building a community of love and dialogue. I always tell my research team, and I'm not afraid to say this in the trailer, that if we're not a community or a legion, as we call ourselves, and we really care for each other, that, and rally around those uh, of us down in need, then all we're doing is just writing papers. And I refuse to be just that. Scholarship must be more than that. We must be a community of resistance, of love, of caring. A community that radiates that caring and that love and that activism all over the world. So here I am. Here is where my activism begins. In my classroom. Here is where I belong. Where I make my stand with my students. Together, we learn how to be better teachers. And we learn to be better human beings. Here is what I am, who I am as a literature researcher, and I can create a space where we can think about making better classrooms with more engaging literacy practices. Here's a space where we learn the importance of caring for our students and each other. We are here in Colombia, in the South, working together to create better classrooms and better human beings. Woo!